Garcia here and today I'm going to be unboxing this game right here from Osprey Games called Merv the heart of the Silk Road I assume that's the full title maybe just Merv it's got a gorgeous cover I am a big big fan of that cover very uh very clean very beautiful and then the back also does a great job so much detail here and then this picture is the more the closer you get the more little details you see in there uh, a little breakdown of the information down here, ages 14 and up, 90 minutes, 1 through 4 players, uh, versus or solo, okay. And then I'll show you what I mean with that picture, look at that, ooh, what's going on there? Ooh, what's going on over here though? There you go. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and crack it open and take a look at what's in the box. Very vibrant, very beautiful. There we go. Come on now. Come on now. This is one sturdy box. Whoo! Oh wow. Yeah, this is this is some serious this is a serious slab of cardboard. Osprey games, they, they know how to make a box, that's for sure. Their boxes are usually for for, for big boxes like this, they're really sturdy stuff. So there we go, we've got the uh, game rules explaining how everything's going to go. Very nice splashy illustrations. Wow. There it is, good breakdown, some nice uh, segmenting here of, of areas. Seems like quite, quite a bit happening in the game scoring phase here, the different actions you can take. I love the amount of illustrations I'm seeing and sort of highlighted areas to explain something. All right. Game end, two player, single player. With uh, an explanation for that. There we go. Look at that. Oh, and good, good, good. Using the back of the rule book to do something useful. Big fan of that. Always, always a big fan of that. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at what comes in here. So we've got one, two, ta two, two uh, punch boards, and then the, the board itself. So let's take a look at these. Punch out a couple of them. Take a look. All right, so these are pretty thin. They are, however, pretty good quality. This is, uh, they come out well, they come out really clean. They are not thick cardboard, but they don't feel floppy. They don't feel cheap at all. They look really good. I love the uh, iconography here. The, the Just the look of everything is very sharp. I'm a big fan of that. These have a, oh, they have a funky shape. I thought they were a, a hexagon, but it's, it's not. So we've got those. We've got some fruit down here. And we've got some uh, tools, maybe? Down here, all the same, very nice. There we go. And then the next one, well, some of these are even coming out on their own, look at that. They do come out cleanly, so there it is. All right, let's take a look at this board. And below that, lots of wooden components and a deck of cards, all right. And that vibrant, uh, vibrant insert. And some other player aids maybe in here? I'm not sure what those are. Okay, so let's take a look at this board. I'll put aside some of these bits I've already punched. And try to fold out this board and take a look at that, okay? I might not be able to get the whole thing folded out and looking pretty, but I will try. There it is. It is certainly, again, a very vibrant board. Very attractive. Nice layout. Good finish on it. And then we've got all of these wooden bits. So what have we got? We've got some walls, it looks like, that are going to go around here. We've got some camels. Oh, I've seen broken pieces. 
What have we got? I see a piece there broken. From who? Oh, no, buddy, you're missing a leg. Yeah, this little guy here is uh, has a broken leg. You see that? There's his leg. Everybody else okay? Everybody else seems okay. All right. What else? We have these walls, or bridges perhaps, that are going to go there, looking very nice. We've got cubes and a bunch of meeples, it looks like. Cubes, discs, houses, just bits galore. It doesn't look like anything else is going to be nearly fragile enough of a shape to be broken. Just one of those camels was a casualty of shipping. So there we go. Maybe I'll try to glue that guy back together with a little wood glue. I do have the piece, so... I might try to fix that. And then we've got some cards here. Let's take a look at the cards. All right. They are unfortunately not linen finished. They feel a little cardboardy. They're thick, so that's good. But they're all they they feel a little slabby. Does that make sense? A little bit like a slab of cardboard. They look good, and then the fronts give us a little breakdown of what's going on. I don't know how these are going to be used, of course, but there you go. That's what they look like. This looks like maybe order for fulfillment or something like that. Okay. And then lastly, I don't know what this is, but let's take a look. It did come in the box. So I'm assuming it's not a promo or anything like that. It sure has that look though, doesn't it? So let's see, what's it say? Prior, what is this? What is it? I don't know guys, I don't know what this is. And I know I shouldn't be trying to guess when I haven't even looked at the rule book. But you know, I just don't have, I can't, I can't wait. I don't have the patience. <laughs> there we go very nice so there it is that's a, a whole lot of stuff i i can't wait i'm excited to dig into the game i can't wait to uh play it to see find out more about it like i said so uh stay tuned for more coverage on this one i'll be doing a review of it um i am excited i think it's like it's a very good looking game so that is Merv from Osprey Games. Like I said, thanks everybody for checking this out with me. I'm Z Garcia. I'll see you on the next one.